Hello and welcome to Upper, Lower, and Proper Case. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're gonna look at three different ways to change the case. We're gonna look at flash fill, we're gonna look at formulas, and we're gonna look at power query. Let's get started. Exercise one. In this first exercise, we're gonna use flash fill. And basically what we do is we just give it the first sample. So for example, Instead of New Orleans in all lowercase, we want proper case. That's where the first letter of each word is capitalized. So we give it the first sample, New Orleans. And then we just go to the data tab and hit the flash fill command. And we got it. Same with state, we give it a sample like LA and we can hit the flash fill command. Alternatively, we can use the keyboard shortcut, control E. And finally for email, we give it a sample and we flash fill it down. And you'll notice here it didn't work because our sample was exactly like the original. So what we can do is if it can't detect the pattern based on one sample, we can give it a second sample. So here we lowercase that one and flash fill it down and that time it detected the pattern. So that's the first way, using flash fill. And flash fill is very convenient, but it's static. So if we need a more dynamic solution that will change when our cell values change, we can use formulas. Exercise two. Now we're gonna create some dynamic formulas that update when our cell values update by using three functions, proper, upper, and lower. Let's check it out. Equals proper. This is proper case. That's where the first letter of every word is capitalized. We just point it to its cell and we can go ahead and we can fill that down. Let's do state. Of course, we want upper and we just point it to state, close function and enter. And then we can fill that down. And then we want lower and we point it to the cell, close function, and then we can fill that down. So that's using formulas. And now let's take a look at my favorite way to do it, which is with Power Query. Exercise three. Okay, and here our data is stored in a table. And if your data is not stored in a table, you can simply hit Insert Table or the Control T shortcut. And then we just go to Data, and we use the from table range command. And this opens the Power Query editor and provides a preview of the data. Now all we need to do is right click our city column, go to transform, and capitalize each word. State, right click, transform, uppercase. Email, right click, transform, lowercase. And once our transformations are complete, we can close and load two. And here we wanna send it into a table in an existing worksheet. Right here is just fine, and we click OK. And we can confirm that the green results table looks just right. Now, if anything in our original table changes or if there are new records, all we need to do is right click the results table and click refresh and Power Query will update the results table. I hope this short video provided a few different ways to do upper, lower, and proper case. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 